With the patch released on August 7, Fortnite introduced a new performance mode that uses DirectX 12 instead of the legacy mode's DirectX 11. According to official information, this mode promises better performance and improved stability on modern PCs. It is now the recommended option for achieving higher and more consistent frame rates, offering an alternative to the standard DirectX 12 mode, which requires more GPU power. I have tested the old performance mode for years with different NVIDIA drivers. Over the past two to three years, it has generally been stable, haven't encountered any freezes or crashes. It has always provided very high frame rates when running on a powerful CPU, since this mode depends largely on CPU performance. However, the poor 1% lows often led to noticeable micro stutters. This gap between average FPS and 1% lows was especially clear on high refresh rate monitors. For this reason, I've always preferred the standard DirectX 12 mode with custom settings for better overall performance. In this video, I'll compare three modes, Legacy Performance Mode, the New Performance Mode, and DirectX 12 with minimum settings. I'll benchmark each mode at two resolutions, 1080p, where the CPU is the bottleneck, and 4K, which shifts the load to the GPU, and across three key zones of the current map. Let's look at the first zone in 4K. Here you can see the issue I mentioned with Legacy Performance Mode, nearly 400 average FPS, but only about 121% lows. You can feel that gap in smoothness, even without watching the precise numbers. The new performance mode delivers a similar average FPS while roughly doubling the 1% lows, resulting in much smoother gameplay. And it even looks better. You'll also notice that DirectX 12 mode offers significantly higher 1% lows than legacy performance mode, which is why it was my preferred choice. In the second zone, legacy performance mode provides even lower 1% lows, which can be especially annoying during fights. The other two modes deliver smooth, stutter-free gameplay, and the new performance mode in particular offers outstanding overall performance. In the third zone, average FPS is identical between the two performance modes, but the new mode still delivers a much better experience with nearly double the 1% lows. DirectX 12 mode shouldn't be underestimated either. With the right custom settings, it can deliver excellent image quality without a significant performance drop. Of course, this depends on your GPU. In the first of the 1080p tests, where the CPU is the bottleneck, Legacy Performance Mode delivers the highest average FPS and 1% lows. However, this performance is not consistent, as I'll demonstrate shortly. This is one of the reasons why I'm showing data from multiple areas of the map, rather than just one. Both the new Performance Mode and DirectX 12 Mode provide excellent, stable performance and improved image quality. Their 1% lows remain consistent across the entire map, in Zone 2, you can see exactly what I mean. The 1% lows of Legacy Performance Mode are significantly lower, just as we saw in the 4K tests. Although it delivers higher average FPS than the other modes, I still prefer the much smoother gameplay they provide. Choosing between the new Performance Mode and DirectX 12 Mode depends on your desired image quality, target FPS, and the power of your PC. In Zone 3, the new Performance Mode once again delivers reliable performance whether you face a CPU or GPU bottleneck. I recommend it. Give it a try and share your experience in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. It really helps support the channel and lets me know you want more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.